out here in Owasapee uh, Boy Scout camp uh, riding my mountain bike and took my landscape photography equipment with me. Um, kind of enjoy riding mountain bikes and enjoy landscape photography and thought I'd try to combine the two um, and see how that goes. Uh, here's, here's my bike. Um, as you can tell, uh, my KTM Scarp, my full suspension bike, and then um, I'm using uh, my F-Stop uh, Guru bag um, to, to carry everything. So I'm going to set up here and uh, take a couple pictures and, and see how it goes. So I, I took the picture, I'm using my Nikon 16 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens um, and well, I'm curious to see what happens when I get it back to the computer and uh, get it into Lightroom um, and develop it. I did take a, a bracketed series of shots, uh, some you know underexposed and overexposed and then right on too and we'll see what, see what happens when I, when I put that together. found another neat little place to take a picture I'm um, gonna see how see how this one turns out um, I got my tripod camera set up ready to go here as you can tell and it's kind of neat um, kind of a neat little area across you have to, you have to ride across this bridge um, there was a couple snakes on it when I first got here and I hate snakes but anyways gonna bracket a couple of these pictures here and see how see how those turn out and again hoping for the best when I get back to back home and, and download stuff into the computer and, and develop it see what happens Hi, I just wanted to take a moment and go over uh, a little more detail on the gear that I carry when I do uh, landscape photography on my mountain bike. First thing is I, I have this F-Stop um, bag, that uh, backpack, it's the F-Stop Girl. And I really like it because it's small and it's lightweight and I can get pretty much all the stuff I need to take with me on the mountain bike. And again. I did a lot of research on bags before I bought this one and again it, it was small and, and compact and F-Stop's ICU system where you can compartmentalize your, your equipment the way you want really works out very well. So when, it, when I do take my equipment, this is basically what I take, um, I take one Two lenses, that's it, just two lenses. I have my Nikon 20 millimeter uh, 1.8 uh, prime lens that I take. And then my favorite lens for landscape photography right now is my Nikon 16 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens. Uh, and, and then my Nikon body. Uh, and then I have a really right stuff L bracket to mount the camera to the, the tripods either vertically or horizontally. Uh, also in the bag are is a extra extra batteries of course and then um, extra cards, memory cards for the camera and I also take a small assortment of filters and circular polarizer um, I use the for on the backpack on the mountain bike I take the, the round screw-in type because they're smaller and easy to deal with um, I, I, I don't take the big large 
square filters it's just too much so these work out really well and um, they fit nicely into into this this pouch and, and just go in here the other thing that I can bring with me is, if I want to is my drone the drone controller fits very well into this little side pocket and then the drone itself sits in the, the top of, of the bag in, a, in, a, in its case. It's just the Mavic Air smaller small drone works out really nice. The tripods that I take, so I take two tripods, one for the, the B-roll that you see in the videos, which is the extra footage. Um, and I use this ProMaster XC522. Uh, it's small, it, it fits really well. Um, I can I can stick it in in the side and, and strap it down. Um, there's no problem with it. In fact, if you, even if you want it even smaller, of course you can fold it up so that it's in you know this position and it gets even even smaller yet, and it fits really well into the pocket. And, and being able to strap down my main uh, landscape tripod is this uh, Saruri. I, I really like this. It's a carbon fiber uh, waterproof tripod. Um, not well known yet in the United States, but I think they're getting stronger all the time with their presence. This one is the W2204 model. Again, it's carbon fiber. Uh, screw out legs and this one I mount to the backpack using these straps so the it sits here and the straps will wrap I wrap it around the leg once and then strap it down and, and it doesn't go anywhere the thing is when you're mountain biking make sure you have the, the head in the you know don't don't do it like this I had this happen where the it, when it's strapped down it sits up too high and it catches branches and can it literally uh, yank you off your off your bike so I make sure to collapse it down to its smallest uh, configuration before I attach it to the, the backpack. So that was it just a quick follow-up on the stuff I take when I uh, use the mountain bike in a backpack for landscape photography. Um, the other camera I take is a, a Sony A6400. I use that for the video portion. And that again fits still right nicely in the top of the, the backpack. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And thank you for, for watching. And I will see you in the next video.